turn your attention to Philippians, Philippians. reading at the third verse, Philippians, a letter that Paul wrote to this great church at Philippi, the church that always was there to be a great supporter of the Apostle Paul, a great church. I would pen these words to the church at Zion Hill if I had the opportunity. I want you to know you are a great church. Somebody ought to say amen. Greatness is not defined numerically. Greatness in the Lord is defined spiritually. And if you're growing spiritually, you are a great church. Amen. Philippians, the fourth chapter. And the third verse, and I'm going to read until I get happy. I get happy on the word of God, Brother Paul Hart, and I just want to sing it. I get happy on the word. I love singing, but the word is a delivering word. If you would be so kind and so Christian to just stand to your feet as we read from these scriptures. And if you have the King James Version and the Spirit moves on you, join right in with me as we read with power from the didactic word of the Lord found in Philippians, the fourth chapter, starting at verse 3. It says, And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, yeah. help those women which labored with me in the gospel with Clement also and with other fellow laborers whose names, good God Almighty, yes, are in the book of life. If your name in the book of life, you can do what verse 4 says. It says, rejoice. If your name is in the book of life, you ought to rejoice. I'm almost happy already. Slow down. Deacon Sanchez, your name may not be in a lot of books, but if your name is in the book of life, it says rejoice in the Lord. Always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice. Oh, um, um, I don't know. I read it and and hear nobody rejoicing. If your name is in the book of life, rejoice not in the pastor, not in the pews, not in the people, but rejoice in the Lord always. And again, you say, because you didn't hear me the first time, rejoice. be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Which means the Lord is here. Oh, you in trouble. Got all the issues in your life. You ought to know that the Lord is here. He don't have to come. He's already here. Watch this, watch this. I know you've been begging folks, but but here Bible. Here's the Bible. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with patience. There was your chance again. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Be thankful for it. It says with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known, not unto folks, but unto God. Praise his 
holy man. Watch this. And when you know that God is on your side, verse 7 said, And the peace of God, which passes Here's the condition. Here's the condition. Here's the condition. We're going to see where you are. He said, if there be any virtue. If. 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 There be any. That didn't sound like it. Let me say it again. If there be any. even seen in me do. The God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at your last care of me hath flourished again wherein ye were also careful but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of one. For I have learned. For I have learned. In whatsoever state I am. Therewith to be content. I know both. How to be a base. And I know how to abide. Paul said I've had. And I've had not. all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry both to abound and to suffer need thank you Lord I, I can do all things through Christ let me say we didn't get the mic because they need to know there's power all things through Christ which strengthens me. I'm going to read on while they get ready. Notwithstanding ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction. I got to get to this 8th, this 19th verse. Because for those of you who don't believe, I want to tell you, but my God. I dare you to touch yourself and say, but my God. Look at somebody and say, but my God. Share. Supply. 